Hello and welcome to my channel, Being Human in South Africa. Today I'd like to talk about ignorance. Ignorance starts with the word ignore. Ignorance happens when you ignore things. So there are mind poisons such as desire and all kinds of other things like hatred and anger and so on. And all of these mind poisons are called poisons because we are ignorant to what's on the other side of that. So suppose we start feeling angry. That's fine. We're allowed to. Most meditation masters, or many meditation masters, or some meditation masters, I don't want to be generalizing too much on my channel, will teach that we mustn't be getting angry. We mustn't be having desire. And I agree that we shouldn't be acting on our anger negatively. But if we start feeling the anger emotion, or we start feeling the desire emotion, or we start feeling the jealousy emotion, we cannot stop feeling that. And it's important that we feel that. It's important that we understand our sixth sense, which is how we can develop that to start feeling those energies sooner and sooner. So maybe when you start out with meditation and mindfulness, you feel anger immediately when it happens but maybe after a while you feel the anger three weeks before you actually get angry and then you don't actually get angry what happens is that you feel the anger emotion and then you think okay what's on the other side of that so that my mind doesn't get poisoned with the anger and with those other emotions i don't ignore them i never ignore i decide is this important for me right now? If it is, I deal with it. If it's not, I park it. Sometimes I never get to it. Sometimes it's just not important for me. So ignorance comes from ignoring. The Buddha and Buddha nature happen from ignorance because we're ignoring the possibility of who we are. So I'm just busy reading Kampopo's work translated by Ken Holmes and in it Gampopo says that the Buddha nature is in all of us and it's latent it's like my feeling about the Messiah that there'll be a messianic age which will happen when there's one second of peace all around the world at exactly the same time so how do we get to the messianic age we all have to work on it together to bring the messianic age because it's inside all of us. The Messiah comes because we bring the Messiah. We bring the Messiah in the messianic age because of our work. And how did that start? It started because we didn't ignore. We didn't ignore our feelings. We didn't ignore our emotions. We weren't ignorant. We wanted to learn the truth. We want to see what's fake news, what's real news. And then maybe fake news becomes real news. And what about Galileo and Copernicus and all of these great scientists and Newton and Einstein and so many others? And even in medicine, Semmelweis, who said we should wash our hands between operations. In his case, he said we should wash our hands between births because he was a gynecologist and everybody laughed at him. But he noticed that if he washed his hands between births, that more of the children survived. But he was ridiculed for decades and ended up dying in a mental home. And I feel so sorry for him. And I know so many people who are so brilliant and have such amazing minds and feel like they're in a mental home. And it's not their fault. Let's not ignore those people. Let's bring them into our company. Let's welcome them. As you can see on this board behind me, let's be charitable to them. Charity is not just about giving money. There's a much bigger form of charity. Charity is giving people the benefit of the doubt. It's inviting the stranger into your home, into your midst. It's inviting that person who's really desperate to have a cup of coffee with a friend to have that coffee with you 
and not to be too busy to be able to see what's happening. So please, don't be ignorant. Don't ignore. The world needs you right now. Maybe you're feeling down. Maybe you're feeling depressed. Maybe it's because you don't have money. Maybe it's because you lost your job. Maybe it's because your wife or your husband or your child or your father died. Maybe it's because your boss shouted at you. Whatever it is, no, you're not alone. And reach out to your family and reach out to your friends and say, I need help. And maybe that help just starts with talking because talking is where everything starts. So I'm praying for you. If you're watching my channel, I'm praying for you right now. I'm sending you healing energy. I'm doing the Metta Meditation from Buddhism for you, which is, may you be full of loving kindness. May you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be happy. And I've added, may you be healthy. May you have wisdom. May you have discernment. And may you not ignore your feelings. And may you not be ignorant. And may you find that Buddha nature inside you, that Messiah inside you, that really wants to make the world a better place. Your world, everybody's world. Thank you.